man, what was what was the element? It was glucose. There's a there's an actual technical name for it. It's basically chewing gum, right? And uh, I don't know how many times you've th- stepped on chewing gum when it's been on a hot surface. I stepped on it far more times than I can count. My kids love gum. I used to chew Bubblicious when I was a kid, all of that stuff. But man, this this comes off my um, frustration with I always seem to find it. Always. see. I don't care where it is. We could be at a random place. I'll end up stepping on this stuff. And it just gets stuck everywhere. I've had it stuck in my hair, my kids' hair, all that kind of stuff. So in this, you know, you would take this, obviously, chewing gum and kind of think of, it brought me back to um, Jurassic Park Lost World where she needs like something to stick. You know, they kind of use these in a bunch of films, but we like watching Jurassic Park Lost World. And so they're fixing the little baby T-Rex's, um, you know, stint or, or splint and she uses the chewing gum. So this comes from that and it, it grows on little balloons and they have these sticks. Zebra Stripe was a favorite. Zebra Stripe has always been a favorite. Um, it's it's colorful, it's chewy, the flavor lasts for about five minutes and then it's gone. So what? You pop another stick in. So it grows on these little bubbles, right? Which kind of blow up. And then off that grows the little zebra stripe gum, chewing gum piece falls to the ground, comes up as a bubble and it just kind of keeps repeating itself. Well, how are you going to defeat that? Well, you bring in the chattering teeth that are on rockets and you just start chewing all this stuff up, falls to the ground. These guys start stepping in it, done. So we launched Conquer Earth last year in September and and then wrap it up. With, it'll all be wrapped up by the end of this year. So this will be kind of like a year long thing to wrap up all um, 26 covers plus all the pieces and everything that goes with it. All of this is exclusively available with the Chuck Jones Gallery. So everything that's created for this, all of it, if, you know, whether you have a consultant, if you're looking to reach out, chuckjonescatalog.com. It has the Conquer Earth series. It's its own little section on there. And that's where you can view and partake in anything. They've got two different sets. So all of them are in limiteds as well. And there's a paper, there's a paper version of the, of one. So you can get a planet size in this or uh, right over there is the canvas size of the limiteds, which are full size on 12 by 18s. Whereas um, these guys right here, I believe are, 10 or eight by maybe eight by 10, I think is what they are. Um, so there's different ways to collect, whether it's an original or maybe you want your initials or something and you correct, collect them in a limited after the fact. And by the way, there's one additional thing. So on the, on the canvas, on the chiclets of the covers, which the color jumps, I'm stoked about how these turned out. If you get one of the canvas size, which again is real size to the actual production, the originals that I did on the back, is a full-size character. So I sketch on the back of all of them a full-size character. Right now it's Marvin as we do a steampunk Marvin, but there's an original sketch on the back of every single Gicle version of the planet covers. I'd say that this is, it, it's probably, this project has pushed me to write more things, right? Everything's intentional. And, and when you're doing a piece and, you know, so you're doing a painting of something, or maybe you have a series of a couple of, you know, um, scenes or something that you're putting together and they have a meeting to do 26 plus, plus all the stuff that goes wrong with it has been an absolute blast and creatively pushed me into thinking bigger on something and how to wrap a storyline around. And I'm, which is why I'm stoked about this for one, that the gallery's letting me do it. And when I pitched it, they weren't like, you're insane. And maybe we should wait till later, you know, but just, yes, that sounds hilarious. We're not quite, how's that going to come out? And then when I show, you know, like a little bit more of the progress, like, Oh, ah, but they bought in from the beginning, which is why I got the chance to do it. So I'm, I'm stoked about this as each cover comes out, there's influences from comics. So like different comic covers, different, you know, layout styles. I've got a Hulk reference in the planet I. There's a Thor reference coming up in a planet that might have one of my initials in it, um, stuff like that. So I'm, I'm stoked to be able to pour myself into this series and then watch how it comes out. And I, I've loved everybody's reaction to this. There's custom pins that go along. So in a part of not only collecting the pieces, depending on which you get an original, a limited, whether it's the G Clay or the limited edition print, I did pins of all the hats and helmets. So there's one, I've got canines over here to all seven. So all seven come in a pin, right? And the collector pins are available with the Conquer Earth series. So anybody that picks up 
depending on which kind they pick up. There's how many pins do you get with one? Choose your own pins kind of stuff. And I love pins. I love collector pins. I'm, I'll put them everywhere, right? So I, I wanted to do something as a fan myself of doing these things. They're like, what would I want if I got something like this? If there was a series like, what would I want to learn? I want a pin. Um, that's, that's cool to me. And the reaction I've gotten from people is phenomenal. So collector pins, collector things, this whole idea of this art of book afterwards. And then I do believe that the paper versions of these um, when you get these come, there's a collector box we're working on and how that comes together in a portfolio. So that's exciting as well. I've had the question of, are there, is there more in depth to the planets? Is there more coming with steampunk stuff after, you know, whether it's after the series and the, the answer is yes, I plan on exploring more with this. It's been a big hit. Um, I think almost all of the pieces so far, the originals are collected and then they've got APs and um, signed in numbers that are, have been flying out the door. So the, there's a storyline behind all this, and it, it's in that homage of Chuck's storytelling, right? And I don't want to just do a piece to do a piece. So there's more coming and how this wraps out once this series wraps, um, and then how in-depth into a little bit more into why in that planet and what's going on there. And then after that, um, I mean, how many other characters do we have? Quite a few. What could happen? All kinds of things. So more to come from the Steampunk series. If you're geeking out on any of this stuff, which I geek out on. And it's something that you want to pick up. I will tell you that originals uh, go like that. So they're, the originals are, uh, you got, you're fast on the hit, the usually people are wanting their initials or, you know, something like that, a, a letter that's dear to them, or maybe it's a subject matter. So if, if you're looking for that, get a hold of your consultant before, you know, as, as things start to launch. And then the limiteds for both go fast as well. So it's kind of one of those things that if you find the letter combinations that you like or, you know, something that appeals to you, hop on it with the gallery. And that's all at chuckjoneskatalog.com that you can see all of the current releases and then get a hold of your consultants as they will be able to help fulfill that for you. And then all the little perks and stuff that come with it. Um, and again, my name is Ben Olson. I am an artist with the Chuck Jones Gallery. I am a fellow nerd and purveyor of all these wonderful things, Chuck Jones, and just so grateful to be a part of this whole, whole show.